What's up guys, Madacaster here, and today we're back for our Friday upload of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. And uh, if you missed the last episode, we did this really cool like Model T type truck. I did repaint it a different color and uh, changed the headlights, went with the higher mounted headlights uh, to kind of be like a, a little out in front of the shop, get attention, right? And uh, there is even a livery option of using the garage logo. So I had to go for it and uh, changed it to kind of a more of a maroon. I think it looks really good, fits with the shop and everything. If you missed that video, it is the video before this one. It was last Friday's video. It was a very fun one. And this one is recent too. These are just a couple cars I like to look at and keep around. All right, enough of that, guys. Let's go back to the uh, like junk car auction. I had a lot of fun doing that last time. I figure let's go see what we got over there today. And here we are. We want the salvage cars, which I think uh, really is more fun to do than the uh, pretty nice ones. So let's see what we got here today. I'm noticing right off the bat right here, we have a Lamborghini Huracan, which that could be... That could be a lot of fun. We haven't done a Lamborghini yet. We've done a Ferrari, but we haven't done a Lamborghini yet. And this one's missing quite a few things. So it would be it would be it would be a fun one to do, that's for sure. Just because there is a lot of work to be done here. Looking in here, it looks like well the engine cover can't really take that off, but hopefully things under there are good. We can sit in the right seat. Doesn't look too terrible in here. Just dirty. I think we should make a play on this one. We've got 56,876 miles. Not too bad. Yeah, looking here, it just kind of looks to be what, what to be expected when looking at the car. I say we, we go for it. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Start the auction. And then the, we are already up to 14,000, 15, 16,000. Okay, it took some time, but we did win it. 33,222 bucks. Not bad. Let's receive the car. Send it over to the garage. I believe our Lamborghini has arrived. Indeed it has. Let's send it over to first things first. Get it all washed up. Get it clean. I like to work on a clean car when I can. Oh, it was black under there. Never would have guessed. That was a lot of dust and dirt for it to be a black car underneath all of that. Let's get the old welder. Move it over. Get that taken care of. Yes. And that's going to straighten a lot of this stuff out. Didn't really have any rust issues or anything like that, which is now hitting me as I said that, that the vast majority of this car, the body at least is carbon fiber. So yeah, that would make sense. Pop the trunk here and get this engine cover off and see what we're working with down in here. If I can get down in there, this thing up on the lift a little bit is making it tricky. Okay, I brought it out here to be able to reach down to the, oh yeah, the engine. We do not have much of anything here. Looks like this mod is using a Porsche transaxle. That's cool. Made it to. It is a V10. This is a mod by Lit. L-I-T. Yeah, it won't let me take the uh, car all the way down inside the garage. But if you set it out here, it'll put it on blocks for you. But yeah, if you try to put it all the way down on the lifter, it just says there are no wheels for the car. So let's move this to lifter A. We'll probably be able to get to it. Everything we need to from the bottom since there's not a whole lot left. See if there's even any oil on this thing at all. Let's try it. There is some and it is black. Yeah, I'm glad we got that taken care of and get that out of there. Yeah, there's not even a lot left on this suspension. No brake pads, no calipers, uh, hardly anything. Looks like over on this side, about the same. What's interesting, it looks like just about everything for the front is here, uh, minus the fuel tank there. But everything in the back is pretty much missing. It must have been hit in the rear or something. Somebody was trying to fix it. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and get everything back here torn out. Just to be able to start fresh this is gonna be quite a uh, quite a build trying to figure out what we need where it all should go because i have not done this particular car at all and working with the porsche transaction with the v10 transaxle with the v10 is very interesting setup we got one stuck bolt there be able to get this transaxle out of here that's going to make a lot of room we've got our clutch cover here very interesting very different this is kind of exciting. I haven't done one of these. Okay, that all comes off. And then I'll just go ahead and rip out all the rest of the suspension back here. And for the engine, I, I bet, yeah, we'll be able to pull it now with the engine crane. Go get that. Bring it over. Send you over to lifter A. And yank it out. There we go. We got it. 
mount that motor there, or what's left of it. I figure with this car, we're just gonna kind of work our way from the back to the front. Start with the worst and eventually end up here, which really doesn't seem like it's missing a whole lot. It looks pretty good, actually. So I repaired what I could and replaced what I couldn't, and there was a lot that was missing, obviously. So what I did buy, what I replaced, I replaced with performance parts, and there's quite a bit of them. Uh, already installed the pistons, performance pistons and rods and uh, the caps and everything. I figured you guys have seen that a million times. Do you really want to see me put each individual piston in and everything, or just get right to the chase of building out the engine. Let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know. I'm always looking to improve this channel. So from here, all we really need to do down here is put on the oil pan, which I think is pretty funny that it has four little bolts. I don't know that would really hold, <laughs> hold the oil, but that's what it has. We'll go ahead and do some of this stuff here while we're, you know, while we've got the engine upside down and easy to get to performance uh, power steering pump and the uh, water pump there. Do our water pump pulley. And I think we're good to flip this thing back over. Go with our alternator here and performance head that I have upgraded I'm using the, like the scrap thing. You can uh, go back in your little trailer back there and upgrade the performance parts. So I have done that. Used up every bit of uh, scrap I could. Well, I've got nine up there, I see. But uh, yeah, pretty much upgraded what I could with all that. Upgrade the upgrades, right? We got a ton of these retainers here. We're good to go with spark plugs here. Performance spark plugs. Get all five. Kind of tricky with the way that light bounces right there sometimes. Just hits just the right spot. Makes it a little bit tricky. Okay, we're ready for our exhaust manifold performance and the sheer number of manifold bolts. My goodness. But at least they go in quick. And there's the last one. Go ahead and put our cam gear here. Jump on over to the other side. Build out this side. On to the intake manifold. Big, beautiful intake manifold. And yes, it does say Porsche on it. <laughs> it's for the uh, mod builder to have a V10 in it and everything. I uh, did have to use the Porsche engine which is that's that's fine that's fine we'll just ignore that overlook that it's a well-built mod anyway so who's complaining i'm not you get these performance throttle bodies on here then yeah we could go for the air filter base air filter and the cover beautiful do that to the same side air filter base air filter performance there we go pretty much anything red you guys know that's the performance stuff, including our fuel filter. We are ready for the fuel rail here. I guess I should go to the front of the engine and start getting that take care of so we can get our engine heads on while we've got the clearance. Go ahead and do our timing chain here. We should be able to, yep, get our cam gear A and B, both the different kinds and our timing chain shoes. Yep, Porsche branded, but this is a Lamborghini right <laughs> and get our other timing chain shoes on here there's one and then the other nice oh yeah we got to get that guy on there now we can go for the engine head cover there we go six bolts there then we'll be ready for our performance coils two three four and five right there back onto the front do our timing cover four bolts there ready for our harmonic balancer on it goes idler roller do our serpentine belt here kind of tricky there a small little area to hit <laughs> idler roller a that is just uh, depending on your perspective obviously there we go let me get the idler roller for that. I believe that's the front. Yep, front of that is done and onto this engine head cover. All right, I believe that is everything. Zoom out here a little bit, take a look. Yes, that is our big, beautiful <laughs> V10 
ready to go in our Lamborghini, our Porsche V10 going in our Lamborghini. We'll take our engine, install, good to go. Put this back and can we even see it in there? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Let's get up and get the transaxle connected so that way we can get our rear suspension all taken care of. We've got to do our clutch here, which we were able to repair, then our clutch cover. Put that all on there. And now we're ready for our transaxle. Just four bolts there. I think we got a starter here. Yep. It says V8, but works with this very well. And that is connected. Time to do out the rear suspension. Get that rear axle knuckle cover on there. Upper suspension arm. Lots of rubber bushings, as always. I haven't said it yet, guys. I hope you're all doing well. I can't complain yet. That's what I always say. Because <laughs> that's... I just can't complain. Especially when you guys have been watching... That last video I did with the uh, Model T did really well. Thank you guys so much for enjoying and engaging. I really appreciate it. Get this brake disc on here. Looks like I bought too many bearings. That's okay. You can never have too many. Brake pads. Get our caliper on here, and we should be ready for our wheel and tire set. Indeed we are. All right, I'm gonna go build out the other side. Time to pull apart our front suspension. We'll start by taking off the uh, front wheel and tire. There we go. Now we can get to the brake caliper. See, this doesn't look near as bad. I don't see really any missing parts up here. Just looks to be a little bit old. And this is an all-wheel drive car. It just has a CV shaft kind of going into to not much. But, you know, again, the mods only have so much they can work with. But, yes, we do. We did pull out a CV shaft there. Getting this hub off to expose our front cover, axle cover there. Get our upper suspension arm. Yeah, this isn't even really that bad. Let's wave our front end link. We can get our... Shock set there, and lower suspension arm. And there we can get our inner tie rod. Well, I guess we can do our outer tie rod first. Then we'll get our inner tie rod. And get our steering knuckle. I went ahead and painted the wheels matte black because I always thought it looked sharp on these. I know factory, I believe they are gloss black, but I think the matte black actually looks pretty cool. And with the color combo that I'm kind of planning on, I think it'll look really cool. Get one of the rear tires on, see how that looks. See, I dig that. Time to build out the front suspension. Let's start with the steering knuckle here. Go to our front axle knuckle cover. Then onto our front wheel hub. Bolt that in onto our bearing. I keep looking back there at the Richard Petty uh, Roadrunner. It looks so good. I love that car. That was a fun build too. Fun video. Very nostalgic for me. Get the brake pads on here. Not that I was around in 72, but you know what I mean. Like the old petty scheme. Get the upper one on the lower suspension arm. There we go. We'll be ready for our shock assembly. There it is. Oh, we forgot to put that together. And we'll get to that in a second. Just build out whatever else we can. Yep, that's pretty much it. While I'm here, let's just throw in the fuel tank and the performance fuel pump. We can get around here. There we go. Get that in there. You know, it's always one thing it seems like I forget. I think I'm on a roll and then it's like, oh man, I forgot that. Oh well. Nobody's perfect, right? There we go. Now we can get that bolted in there. Then our front sway bar. I believe. What are we missing here? There we go. <laughs> I thought so. Inner tie rod and outer tie rod. There you go. Now we can put our race tire and wheel combo on. On it goes. Interesting star pattern there. <laughs> While I'm down here, mount the intercooler there, and then those are going to be accessible from the engine bay. Looks like everything else will be accessible from above. Guess you couldn't really say engine bay, but front trunk area. Now we can drop it all the way down and get a little more access. Well, we can get our battery in, but all this says accessible from the engine bay. So I'm going to have to go all the way back there and try to... It's going to be tricky to get each and every one of those uh, fuses in that way. 
But it looks like that's our only option here. All the way over here. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get all those fuses in there. Really concerned about that one. So it's not near as bad as I thought it was. You just go over here and then you gotta get it just right there. And then now we can do it. Not, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Trying to get it from all the way over there would have been next to impossible. But no big deal, we got it. And pretty much all the fuses are in. There we go, ready for our fuse box cover. It is on. Now we can just throw in the radiator while we're right here. There's one and two. I think we got everything we need up here. I'm not seeing anything else. While I'm right here, might as well just fill up the windshield washer reservoir. As for back here, we can do our coolant reservoir. A, then our power steering reservoir. Brake servo. Then we can do our ABS pump, and I think I need a module. I believe I do. Yes, I do. Put those tiny little fasteners on there. Should be good. I think we're good to do fluids now. Coolant, power steering fluid, brake fluid, and where the heck does the oil go in this thing? Oh, duh, right there, right on top. I was looking for on the, uh, on the valve covers. Everything looks copacetic there as far as our suspension, drivetrain, all that. Now we gotta address the, any of the body issues. Take off all the fenders. The bumper, stuff like that. See what we're working with. So everything's not, I mean, it's not like bad. It's pretty rough. Well, the trunk is only at 7% and this fender is really bad. But uh, not terrible. And looking at the uh, body parts for this, I've got quite a bit of options. I mean, just look at the rear bumper. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can really go, we could build something out pretty slick here. Although you look at the prices of some of this stuff, $3,000 for that wing, that rear bumper's 5,250. That's a front bumper, excuse me. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of money to be spent here apparently. I picked out some stuff that I thought would look cool. I kind of mixed and matched a little bit. We'll see how that plays out in the uh, putting everything together. Sometimes with certain body parts, you don't want to mix and match, but we'll see what happens here. That seems like it fits okay. I've got a pretty aggressive front bumper. We'll see if it's wider than the stock fenders here. Here's the moment of truth. And no, that actually looks pretty cool. That actually looks really cool. Take these headlights out because I actually bought some tinted headlights. There they go. That looks sharp. I'm really digging that. Onto the door and window. All this is all pretty standard stuff here. This is all like the stock stuff. Get our front right door on here and window as well as mirror. This rear window, this little body window, eh, they call it. Car part three. Oh yeah, I bought the uh, performance one of that. It looks really cool. We need to take this one off to make that match. There we go. Very nice. The rear bumper went with this one. I thought it looked lot cooler than the stock one so oh yeah <laughs> i'm digging that a lot and i also went with a cooler trunk area there and see if this window fits it and surely it does that's nice all right left tail light and right tail light that looks so good for a plate let's go with our friends in norway there you go. All right, time to finish the interior. Actually, I was about to ready to paint it, but let's do let's do the interior stuff. Get our new seats in here, one and two, and pretty much just the steering wheel, and we're we're good there. <laughs> A little mismatch with the flat black and the black, but that does look that does look pretty cool. Not gonna lie. All right, let's get our alignment in order here. We'll start over here. Not too bad. The rears were way out, but yeah, the front's not too bad. And time to get our headlights aligned. Make sure that's all safe. Oh, they were way off. There we go. While we're here, let's sit in it. I want to check out this interior. Oh, man. <laughs> that is nice. Oh, it's like some kind of fighter cockpit or something. Will it start? 
Indeed it does. Oh, listen to that. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is this is pretty slick. This is the fun part where we figure out what we want to paint it. I like some of the radical colors, like the oranges and stuff that, um, yeah, something like that looks cool. I don't know. We've got some choices here. Oh, I forgot to install. I bought a spoiler for this thing. Where did that go? There it is. Yes. That's what it needed. White looks pretty good on this thing, especially with the black wheels and the black, uh, the black wing back there and then the black accents on the side as well as in the front here. That's cool too and pretty close to the factory uh, color that is available from Lamborghini. I don't know. I'm going between this and the orange. I think that looks pretty slick as well. I'm thinking this color in pearl. That looks pretty fantastic. Yep, we're going with this. This one's for Landon. And it is official. So factory was 612 horsepower. Over 435 foot-pound of torque. Let's start the test. See what we get. Oh, it's climbing. It's climbing. It's making a lot of torque. Go, 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 go. Let's see what we can get out of it. That's just screaming. 1,001 horsepower, 684 foot-pound of torque. That's a gain of 389 horsepower, 64%. That's fantastic. This is going to be a fun car to drive. All right, nothing left to do now but drive it. Let's take it to the, uh, let's take it to the high speed, the speed track. See what we can get out of that. So far, our top speed is 214. Will we crush that today? Or is this transaxle going to give us enough gear to get up there? I mean, if anything, I think this is the car that could get us up there. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Get as much of this asphalt as we can get. It sounds good at idle. All righty. Here we go. Man, this thing launches. Oh, yeah, we're easily getting up into 150, 170, 180, 190, and we top out at 192. I think we're going to have to do something about that because we have plenty of room left. The tunable gearbox is $3,000. Go figure. Man. All right. Well, we got to do it. Okay. Get these axles, these drive axles out of here. Now we can get over here to the starter. Get the starter out of the way. We should be able to pull this thing off. On goes the new one. Three, All $3,000 of it. And we can throw our starter back in and then all we have to do is put our drive axles back on and go tune this thing and we're gonna add it lets us add let's see nine gears oh why not let's just go for all nine and see what we can do <laughs> okay backing up to get every bit of this runway as we can get and let's hit it see what we got oh man it takes off like a rocket it's going to spend a lot of time bouncing off the limiter. We're already in seventh gear at 140, 50, 60. Eighth gear at 180. Oh, it just took off. The car just took off to the right. It did not like that. I wonder why. That is weird. I did a realignment after I took off the uh, rear, rear tires and changed all that out. So that is interesting. Let's go to the other end and try again. And here we go. Yeah, it just starts floating off to the one side or another. And we're off. Kept it off the fence, though. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It just starts slowly floating off, and then it just, you just lose it. It's just gone. That's odd, because it didn't do it with the other transmission. And again, I did, I did an alignment and everything, so... That's a head-scratcher. This thing is a blast to drive though. Yeah, I tried several more times. The top speed I can get is 178. It just gets floaty and just takes off. There's no real good way to hang on to it. And I tried, tried and tried and tried. It just, yeah, if any of you guys know, I would appreciate you leaving me a comment. 
doesn't really want to do a donut. These race tires just grip so good. Except at very high speed, I guess. Oh, that was so fun. I love the all-wheel drive. It's so handy. Do that again. <laughs> oh, it's so enjoyable. All right, back to the garage, see what we get out of this thing. So the surprising thing is I brought it in here to double check the alignment. It's all aligned, I'll show you. And yeah, everything's aligned, so I don't know what the deal is. The car is actually faster with the stock transmission than the expensive transmission. And I tried and tried, guys, just it gets floaty right around that 170 mile per hour. Whereas on the other one, it didn't do that. It was very interesting. We could top it out at 195 and it was still tracking straight. So again, if you guys know why, I'd appreciate you letting me know because this won't be the last one of these we do. It really is a beautiful car. It came out quite nice. Look at that thing. We have 100% on everything. Everything's looking good. Got a ton of horsepower. Factory power is 612, but now we're making a 1,001. I like the one there. So it's time to see what we made. $200,033. Let's sell the car. Can't keep them all. That was a fun one. Gets us to 765,381. Time to clean out the inventory. Sell parts gets us another 6,123. We're now sitting at 771,504 dollars. There's still a few cars I can't afford with that, believe it or not, that we have uh, that are that I have stumbled upon, uh, like at the auctions and stuff. Even at the junk auctions, there's a Bugatti that's very expensive and stuff like that. But yeah, we're definitely on the right track to start getting some even more expensive cars. Of course, that's not really the goal. The goal is to have fun, even with the uh, the cheaper cars. I think I have a lot more fun with the cheaper cars, but it's nice to do, you know, like a super hyper car or something with a lot of history, stuff like that. It's always fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you made it this far, please consider giving it a like. I hope you liked it. Guys, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.